You find. Nobody puts baby in a corner. The classic 80s flick Dirty Dancing gets a remake. We have the secrets from the set. Plus, a general hospital bombshell. So here's your here's your lines for today. Oh, I have lines? Yeah. Do I really Didn't they tell you? My nerves get rattled after getting the shock of a lifetime on the iconic soap set. Just learn your damn line. <laughs> learn the damn line. Okay, I think I can do that. <laughs> All right, go have fun. And booty shaking, booty shaking. Da, 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 da. I loosen up and laugh with Refine's dance team out of Seattle Bollywood class. Seattle Refine starts now. Hey everybody, welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson in Fremont today. We kick things off with a story we tried to show you last week, but it got bumped for breaking news. It's all about one of the best days of my career, the day I got to be an extra on the set of the soap opera General Hospital. I was so excited to get a behind the scenes look at what makes this iconic daytime drama tick. But things got serious when producers hit me with a big surprise right before my big scene. All right, here we go. This is my huge debut. It's gigantic. Look, General Hospital actually looks like a real hospital. I'm going to be making, yes, my first appearance ever on that soap opera. All right, come on, follow me. Let's go check it out. Hey there. Hey, I just, I just checked in. They said go to wardrobe. Well, you're here. You've arrived. So I'm playing a patron in a restaurant. All right. So I brought this from home. What do you think? Wow, you look great. I get my own dressing room. I don't know whose that is, but check out mine. Wow, look at this. I got a closet in here. I got a rock lamp. Ooh, I got a, I got a television. And oh yeah, the couch. Whew. I could definitely get used to this lifestyle. Mm. My nerves were pretty calm. Until the executive producer dropped a bomb on me. Um, so here's your here's your lines for today. Oh, I have lines? Yeah. Do I really? Didn't they tell you? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so like right now, I'm petrified. Just so you know. Really? Why? Don't you talk? Is All your show time. silent? No, no. <laughs> so <laughs> come on, you're gonna be great. So it's it's Nina. It was great running into you. Give give my best to your family. Yeah. People say that. Okay. <laughs> Nina, it was great running into you. Give my best to your family. Is that right? Nina, it was great running into you. Give my best to your family. Guard, Swanson, please come to make Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nina, it was great running into you. Give my best to your family. After makeup, it was time to head to the studio. Action guard. Okay. Hey, Nina, it was great running into you. Give my best to your family. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Action. Nina, it was great running into you. Give my best to your family. I will. Thank you, Gerard. <laughs> is that it? That's, I know. Wow. It's empty. You feel empty inside, don't you? But was that the scene? No, no. Oh. That, 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 that was just rehearsal. <laughs> Camera two, can you come over and give me like a bust reaction shot of guard? I only get two rehearsals before lights, camera, action. Final, final, final. How, how, how'd I do that? Look good? Really? Good? Oh. I knew it. I knew it! So we've had two rehearsals. Uh, I've talked to Frank. He's the main guy here. He relaxed me a little bit. And now we're gonna we're gonna tape for real coming up. Just a couple minutes. Oof. And action. Hey Nina, it was great seeing you. Give my best to your family. Oh um, yeah, I will. I'll do that. Uh, good to see you, Gerard. Frank, is that it for me? Yeah. Hey, Gerard, thank you very much. Hey, how'd I do? Excellent. Hi, everybody. Very well. I was really impressed. They just gave you the line. You memorized it quickly. You sat there. You really like looked at the knife and fork <laughs> like a normal patron would yeah. do. Put my napkin in my lap. Yeah, I know you were impressive. How did my acting go out there? I had a couple of lines. I thought you were great, man. I was like, I was willing to give you a couple of mine <laughs> <laughs> after a second, you know. Cool. So come back and join us anytime. It'll be a pleasure to have you back. You allowing me to be on your set, even to walk on it and have a couple of lines. I mean, it, it's huge for me, and I, I certainly appreciate that. Well, we're not doing it for you, Guard. We're doing it for the <laughs> Seattle fans. This is just our way of thanking them. Tomorrow on Refined, a closer look inside one of General Hospital's most time-honored traditions, the always glamorous and, of course, dramatic Nurses Ball.
another one of our favorite shows, Dancing with the Stars, tangos into its grand finale tonight. The couple leaving right now is Simone and Sasha. No one could believe it, least of all the judges, when viewers eliminated Olympian Simone Biles and partner Sasha in the semifinals last week. That means celebrities Normani Cordai, Rashad Jennings, and David Ross face their final dance off tonight in hopes of winning the coveted mirror ball. Tune in to Como tonight at 8 p.m. to see who leaves it all on the dance floor. And right after Dancing with the Stars, we hope you are in the mood for love. It's the perfect time of year to find romance, and that's especially true tonight on Como when the latest bachelorette begins her search for Mr. Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next bachelorette, Rachel Lindsay Rachel! And with that stunning announcement on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Rachel Lindsay became the 13th bachelorette. And I'm ready to find love, find a husband, so if you know anybody out there who needs to apply, sign up. Rachel, could I steal you for a hot minute? We first met Rachel on Nick Vile's season of The Bachelor where she made quite the oh, first God. impression. From the first moment I met you, you stood out. Rachel, will you accept this rose? 100%. For some crazy reason, <laughs> I just got the first impression rose. Viewers loved Rachel from the get-go. And from the look of things, so did Nick. My chemistry with Rachel is probably the most explosive chemistry I have at this point with any of the women. By the time the Fantasy Suite episode rolled around, it looked like these two were a match made in heaven. I feel cloud nine, amazing. I am falling in love with Nick. But alas, it was not meant to be. And Nick gave Rachel her walking papers. But it didn't take long for Rachel to turn her soured romance with Nick into a hopeful picture of love lemonade. And I'm so thrilled for this experience, and I can't believe that in a couple of months, like, I could actually have a ring on my finger. I've never had one before. <laughs> so here's the 411 on Rachel. We know she's a lawyer. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. We know she's into her church. Church is something that is important to me. We know she is the first ever African-American bachelorette. It's a lot on my shoulders, but I feel like I'm ready to take it on. We know she breaks hearts. <laughs> And we know she's ready for love. This finger is ready. The odds are in Rachel's favor. Every bachelorette so far has ended the season with a proposal. The bachelorette debuts tonight at 9 on Como, right after Dancing with the Stars. And tomorrow night on Como, do you ever wonder what your dog is thinking? I just decided today Jason's not walking me. Today I'm walking him. Chill, chill, please. Ah, ah, ah. The new ABC comedy, Downward Dog, explores what happens when a beloved pet named Martin tries to help his owner navigate the pitfalls of modern romance. Hilarity ensues as Martin shares deep thoughts with viewers. Check it out Tuesday night at 8 on Como. And set your DVR for a very special Seattle Refine this Wednesday when we sit down with three local broadcasting legends. It's the biggest party of three we've ever pulled off. We brought together Como News greats Dan Lewis, Steve Poole, and Eric Johnson to talk friendship and food at the top of the Space Needle. I was kind of surprised how easy it was for me to let it go. You don't want to miss it. That's Wednesday at 3 right here on Refined. Seattle Refined is just getting started. Um, yeah, I was terrified, and I thought that I was going to die. That iconic dirty dancing lift. The stars of the remake reveal the challenges behind a movie revival. But first... Have you done it before? We have not. No. <laughs> <laughs> my nerves were shaking along with my hips. Refine takes on the craziest Very dance cool. class yet. We'll be right back. to Seattle Refined, I'm Guard Swanson. Earlier in the show, we showed you a little bit of the ABC smash, Dancing with the Stars. Now, I have to admit, sometimes when I watch this show, I think to myself, that's not so hard, I could do that. That's why this week, I decided to challenge myself by joining our Refined Dance Team. All month long, our good-natured guinea pigs, Gina and Carrie, have tried out different dance classes all over the city. They channeled their inner J-Lo at hip-hop class, Got a little sultry learning moves on the pole and spice things up with salsa. But none of us were sure we were ready for what was next. This place is I'm cool. Christina. You guys ready for some Bollywood? We are ready. 
pretty excited. Have you done it before? We have not. <laughs> if there's one style of dance that our crew knows nothing about, it's definitely Bollywood. <laughs> What's the deal with this Bollywood dancing? I don't know anything about it. Uh, I don't know anything about it either. Same, yeah. Energy, totally. There's a lot of like hand, yeah. Yeah. sort of thing like End of Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> If you've ever watched an Indian film, you know about this fun style of dance. I knew I had to join Carrie and Gina for this next challenge. I just love Bollywood because it's so emotional and silly. So you can just kind of let your guard down and just ham it up. Katrina G owns a studio in Beacon Hill. She offers classes and even competes in competitions. So all the dancing you guys have done before, yes. do you think that's going to help, like, today? Potentially. I hope so. I'm feeling, you know, yeah. I, think I got the rhythm going now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. got the hips, yeah. Yeah. the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you? Do you dance? I am a terrible dancer. No rhythm? Zero. No movement? None. <laughs> I mean, absolutely nothing. I'm here to help you. <laughs> so we're going to start. The most basic step that's done in every Bollywood dance is called dipping. So it's looking like this. So first, just walk in place and knee up, just right. How are we looking? Good. Put the back of your wrist on your hip. Guys can go this way. I can dip. <laughs> Not a problem. And get your cheesiest facial expression going. Oh, look at that one go. You're doing great. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> booty shaking, booty shaking. Da -da 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 -da. Body, tiki tiki. Shoulders, tiki tiki. And one, and two. Hey, can I say something? This lady in the dress back here, she's throwing me off. <laughs> no, she, you really are. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They did excellent. Yeah, they caught on right away, and I mean, you saw them, they were able to bust in and out of uh, the routine without even missing a beat. It's not a real technical dance, so you can have a lot of fun with it and be really bouncy. Yes, and, yeah, bouncy is right. And it, but when we went towards the mirror, that may have been my favorite, because I kind of got it. Well, what about when we were doing the side to side, and she was like, then have the shoulders and the head. And we were like, <laughs> right. oh, yeah. Well, I think I have so much respect for dancers like that yeah. now, because they make it look so easy, and it's not easy. It's super difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. I loved it. I had a, I had a, a ball. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom. All right. For more information on all the classes Refine checked out this past month, just head to seattlerefine.com and search dance. Coming up, chances are your kids have never stepped foot inside one. We travel to one of the last remaining video stores. Mary. Welcome back to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson. Well, you know, it's hard to believe it was 30 years ago that a little movie about a girl, a dance instructor, and a sleepy resort in the Catskills ignited an international phenomenon. Your cuz. What are you doing here? She came with me. She's with me. I carried a watermelon. Dirty Dancing became the sleeper hit of 1987, thanks in no small part to the chemistry of the late Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey as Johnny and Baby. Now, 30 years later, ABC is hoping fans will have the time of their life with a remake of the classic, starring Oscar nominee Abigail Breslin and Colt Prattis in the iconic lead roles. I caught up with stars via satellite from Los Angeles. So just tell me about doing this movie. It's pretty exciting for both of you guys, right? Yeah, yeah. it was Exciting. Insane. Yeah, it's not even enough of, there's like not enough of a word, like excitement and nervous and just overwhelming and beautiful. Like, it was the best. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, this movie's 30 years old and you're 30. So this movie came out the year you were born. So this movie's been around for a little bit, right? I started watching it when I was like seven or eight, though, when it used to come on TNT. My stepmom loved it. And so every weekend that I was up visiting my dad, like, it was, it always just happened to be on. And she would always just happen to be watching it, which I later realized was because Patrick Swayze. We saw the 
I fell in love with it before I even really understood it or knew anything about it. Um, and then it was a huge influence on me becoming a dancer. It was my mom's favorite movie and um, still is. And so she, um, she showed it to me when I was like 13, I want to say. And uh, I fell in love with it like five minutes into the movie. So um, she used to always say to me like, if ever you could play baby in Dirty Dancing, like that would make my life. And so um, it's, it's really cool that I got to. Do you feel the pressure that you have to pull this thing off because this is uh, this movie is iconic. We were all huge fans of this, and so we all wanted it to be as good as it you know could possibly be. How about do doing the lift? That that was a pretty big move. Um, yeah, I was terrified, and I thought that I was going to die, and I am extremely happy that I did not. And um, but thankfully, that's. I'll do to you, Colt, and the <laughs> amazing choreographers that we were working with, so they got the, the credit best for sure. Moment. I love that lift. And when you see it, nobody had seen it. Like none of the <laughs> none of the people dining, like none of the extras, none of the dancers, none of the crew. We'd only done it in private, so that's everyone's genu genuine reaction to just like the culmination of. Oh my God, it was so fun. I get chills. Hey, congratulations, just guys! True. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The ABC original movie event, Dirty Dancing, airs this Wednesday at 8 p.m. right here on Como TV. We'll be right back, but first, a refined, shareable moment of the day. Refined. You know, technology is changing so fast these days, it seems like any time you want to see a TV show or a movie, it's just a click away on the computer, right? But we know some of you long for a simpler time, where things took a bit longer and required a bit more of the human touch. Well, this story is for you. It may seem very odd. We'll put the customer number there. That Leon is still using. 426. A 30 year old computer. Not hooked to the internet. And printer to run his business. But it makes perfect sense. Moana, the new Disney movie, came out today. Here's a good movie paper. I love that. Really quite a suspenseful movie. When you realize his business. I don't know, for you, roll. Is a video store. We sell movies and rent movies. Located along Main Street in the small town of Springville, Utah. Watch the video. The lone survivor of video stores. This is the action section right through here. Still in business. This is a new section I just started. It's called my inspirational section. In a world when watching movies is as easy as staying in the comfort of your own home. I only know one truth. It's main event time. Yet somehow Larson Video Store is still walking tall after three decades. The secret? I've been coming here since 2005. Customer service. The story begins in the late 80s when Leon took an early retirement at Geneva Steel after new owners took over. He was just 43 years old. We needed a job and some place, you know, an income, and so we just decided to look into the video business. On October 1st, 1987, he and his wife opened Larson Video. At that time, video stores were booming. It was a big business back in 87. You know, on Friday night at 4 o'clock, you sometimes had eight employees there. But as the years went by and the digital age came to life, stores started to close down. Friday night visits to Blockbuster, they're about to be a thing of the past. Even the big ones like Blockbuster and Hollywood Video, the days of lining up for that new release are long gone. And then now, what is it like? Absolutely. I don't think people care. If they come in, they don't find what they want, they just leave. Maybe there's something to be said about staying old school. Yeah. That has allowed Leon to survive at a time when video stores are a thing of the past. Can get you one. What's the last name? So how much longer will Larson Video stick around? Well, that depends. I don't know. <laughs> Larson Video. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'll see you next time right here on Seattle Refined. <laughs>